It's Matt with your A1 Minute Week in Review presented by Plumber Near Me. The U.S. Court of Appeals for the District of Columbia reaffirmed its earlier decision that a lower court lacked jurisdiction to hear a lawsuit in which six landowners in Franklin, Montgomery, and Roanoke counties challenged the Mountain Valley Pipeline's use of eminent domain to take their property. And the University of Virginia graduate student arrested on sexual assault charges faces similar charges in his hometown of New York City. Derek Rodriguez Contreras was studying for a master's at UVA McIntyre School of Commerce until his February 7th arrest. UVA spokesman Brian Coy said the university is aware of the case, but said the school would not comment. And Dave Matthews Band is among the 15 nominees for 2024 Class of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. The band, which was formed in Charlottesville in 1991, is the only band to release seven consecutive albums that debuted at number one. Virginia lost jobs in December for the first time in 14 months, and estimated income tax payments fell sharply as warning signs appeared in the state's economic and revenue outlook look days before the General Assembly's money committees released their versions of the state budget. And a proposal to create a state authority for a $2 billion sports and entertainment district in Alexandria sped through the House of Delegates Tuesday. The vote sets the stage for a confrontation with the Senate Finance and Appropriations Committee, which abruptly refused to consider companion legislation. That's it for this week's A1 Weekend Review presented by Plumber Near Me. Make sure you pick up a copy of Sunday's paper for a more detailed recap from news from across the state.